around about three o'clock today, a police constable and a community support officer from Ealing Borough received stab wounds whilst they were on duty. As a result of revenue collection operation in Ealing Broadway, the community officer challenged a man who was behaving suspiciously. The team called for assistance and the man proceeded to attack the PCSO and the police constable who suffered multiple stab wounds, initially believed to be life-threatening. Our inquiries have established that the suspect in this case had entered the Asda store in the Broadway Bexley Heath. There, she had obtained a knife. She then attacked a 23-year-old female victim, inflicting minor injuries. At the scene of this incident, she was disarmed and then she made her way further along the Broadway, where she entered a commercial premises and obtained a second knife. It was with this knife that she then attacked her second victim in Albion Road, some short distance away. Well, you heard the investigating officer there. Not only was this very tragic, but it must have been very, very frightening for all those who were on this street. Throughout the night, a wide police cordon sealed off the area around the scene of the killings. Even some local residents in this normally quiet neighbourhood had to leave their homes, forced to spend the night in temporary shelters. Detectives and forensics officers are now involved in a detailed examination here, part of a complex investigation as they piece together the exact sequence of events. Emergency services were called here just after three o'clock yesterday afternoon. They were faced with multiple victims, all suffering stab wounds. Most had been attacked inside one of these houses, but one or more of the victims was stabbed out on the street as neighbours looked on in horror. Even Jersey's chief detective, a man who previously led the hunt for the Ipswich serial killer, was clearly affected by what he'd witnessed. It is a gruesome sight. The body of the woman, who's believed to be British, is stretched away. She was decapitated by a man with a machete on the holiday resort of Los Cristianos on the island of Tenerife whilst out shopping. If you just take a look uh, behind my shoulder, you can probably make out the butcher shop where the incident took place. It's now being covered over uh, by a tarpaulin. There have been forensics teams coming in and out of there uh, all day. There is a very heavy uh, police presence here. Uh, the road has been cordoned off. Now, normally this street uh, would have been packed uh, with shoppers. It's a very popular shopping area here in northwest London. Uh, of course, instead, that's been replaced by a very sombre mood here. We've had the local MP, Barry Gardner, down talking to local residents, reassuring them. We've also just seen two representatives of uh, two local temples. Uh, this is uh, an area uh, largely made up of ethnic minorities, particularly uh, from South Asia. Uh, what eyewitnesses have said about this incident is this, is that uh, at about quarter to nine this morning, a man was seen running down Kingsbury High Road uh, and he was chased by uh, at least five police officers. A number of them then followed him into that butcher shop and it was there that he picked up a large knife uh, and began flailing it around and attacking those officers. We understand that uh, four of those officers were stabbed. They're now being treated in two local hospitals. Uh, two of them are said to be in a very serious condition. Uh